Hello and welcome to your weekly oracle card guidance. Here are your three decks. We are using Alana Fairchild's oracle cards today. We have the Rumi oracle, the Isis oracle and the Sacred Rebels um, oracle. So it's deck one, two and three. Please make your selection and you can go down to the description box below where you'll find the timestamp for your reading. I'm going to get right into it. So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, we are using the Rumi Oracle uh, cards and these are generally for love, but I'll be giving you a general message today. And if, it pertain if there is a message pertaining to love, then I shall certainly share that with you. Um, my messages or oh, this channel uh, actually has channeled messages, so I don't always read the meanings on the cards. Um, so yeah, if you're wondering what the meaning of the cards are, then it's better to look that up by yourself. Uh, I usually just use the cards as a means of, um, as a means of bouncing off to a, uh, to get some kind of connection with you so that I may read your situation at this moment or what you need to hear right now. So yes, for those of you who've chosen this deck here, what do you need to know right now? We have here enter the garden of delights all right and it's in the number of 28 so um what i'm hearing here is that well the first message i got while i was shuffling this is that it's up to you to make the difference it's up to you to find the delights and it's up to you to find actual the actual joy in your life so if you enjoy something and if you're delighted by something it is because you've created it. It's because you've made it happen. It's because you've made a range of choices or lack uh, or taken a, 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 some kind of action or lack of action in order to create that. So where is it that you are desiring uh, a certain type of delight, but it seems outside of your reach? Is it that you would like to move to a new place? Is it that you'd like to go to a certain college? Is it that you would like to have a whatever dream it is fulfilled, but it feels as if it's just almost out of reach? Well, the card here today or this message that you've chosen is that you need to just go out and create it for yourself. You need to make the steps to get there. And what they're saying to me is that this path here, it or where you headed to, right, has a very um, distinct number of steps on this path. And you need to follow every single one of them. And uh, so, you know, if it is uh, going to a particular college, you need to phone them or, or do the application and get the, the documents that you need in order and make the proposal, etc. And you need to actually get Go, go ahead and do that, okay? So sitting around in, in, and thinking about how delightful it would be or how wonderful it would be would actually be a detrimental to you because you are wasting your time, okay, in, in, um, in just thinking about it and dreaming about it. It is, they are saying to you, enter the garden of delights as in actually participate in your life in order to make those dreams come true, in order for it to, to happen. If it is house hunting that you're doing, then, you know, scar out the, uh, the, the um, what is it, the property magazines or, or newsletters. Uh, look around, what look at what's available and what's within your budget. Create a budget. Um, you know, take the steps that you need to take in order for to make whatever it is that you need to do uh, come true. And I'm just giving you examples here. So you can actually just apply that to your own situation. Um, the other thing I'm hearing here is that this, well, once you enter the space of actually doing, once you actually uh, um, step off and actually begin uh, walking on the path, or actually just in, right now it's like you stand, you're sitting at the, at the edge and looking in on what could be and looking in uh, at your fantasy of what it could actually be, what, how nice it would be, well, how good it would feel, how would you be thereafter, how it would change you. But or what I'm hearing here is that um, you actually need right now to step off from your ledge and actually just do it. 
right? So the good old Nike uh, slogan, just do it, okay? Go right ahead and just get involved in it. Begin participating in your life. And once you do that, you're going to find that there is so much more than you actually realized uh, that you still need to do. And there's going to be so much more delight and joy and synchronicities along the way that's actually going to remind you and uh, give you some kind of affirmation that you're actually on the right path. So look out for that and, you know, welcome them. I'm also hearing that along the way on your path, you are going to have um, support, uh, divine support, uh, support from, from you know, your resources. You're going to have, you're going to have uh, your support due to the resources that you have available. And I'm also hearing here that your highest self or that part of you which believes in this is actually going to, to be able to create this. And you're going to have that support from that part of you which is stronger that's able to walk this path. So go ahead and enter the garden of delights. Don't procrastinate. I, I feel like I've gotten this message last week as well. Uh, the, the don't procrastinate bit. And I actually uh, put out a, a meditation a few weeks ago because the energy I've been picking up on was very much an energy of, no, now is really not the time to procrastinate. Now is really the time to engage, to participate, to get involved, to make your dreams come true. And this card and the message here in this first deck is very much resonant with that energy. Okay, so that is your message for those of you who've chosen the first pile today. I thank you for coming by and I wish you well for your week ahead. So moving on to the next deck here, we have the Isis Oracle. And we're asking, what is it that you need to hear for today? What is it that you actually need to hear why is it that you've come to what what is the message that you've come to this channel for? Oh, okay, there we are. I'm gonna go with this one. So we have the brother in darkness and it's it the caption here is overcoming negative energy with feminine power the brother in darkness so for some of you this may actually uh, resonate or r relate rather uh, with you because you do have a brother literally or a cousin or a friend a male figure in your life who's in need of support okay and the card here is talking about um, this brother being in darkness. And where does that leave you? Does that leave you better off with your brother being in darkness? Or the male aspect being in darkness at this moment? Well, it's not leaving anyone better off in this state. And this is not something that this person can get through by themselves. So in different instances, it might be that um, it might actually have different meanings. So one of the meanings I'm hearing here is that there is a male figure in your life who's putting on a brave front, but is actually struggling. And for some of you, this person is struggling with, um, well, they need physical support. They're, they're struggling with their health. With others of them, they've been strong for so long that they've forgotten how to be vulnerable and with others, they feel a great deal of shame because they're not able to fulfill expectations and they feel themselves weakening. Okay, so there's even more scenarios and it just feels quite overwhelming on like a, a real myriad of examples here. And I feel that it, it simply it applies to you all in a very personal way. And in a very uh, specific way, and this is not necessarily a relative, it could be somebody that you work with or just somebody that you engage with. It could also be uh, that aspect of yourself, which is the male part of you. And the message here is to be able to balance this energy out and to be able to overcome this, uh, what, what is actually an, an expression of negative energy um, as a result of being in this condition. 
Well, to overcome it with feminine power, and what they're talking about here is uh, what I'm hearing for you is that you need to be this support. You need to actually offer a word here and there which shows that you are there. And those words are really important. And it doesn't have to be too frequent, but it has to be at the right moment. So tune in to this person or to this person outside of you that needs, or this person, or this part of you that needs this um, balancing of that which is the masculine energy in you, or this other energy which is not actually balanced within you. And I want you to console this with a very maternal energy, a very nurturing energy, but an energy that feels very present. Do you see how she's present here? She's, she's very pre present. She's overseeing the situation. She's there. She's um, omnipresent. You know, she's, she's all around. And I want you to be that presence for this person who is in need or for that part of you which is in need. And you need to do that by consoling, by nurturing, by being a maternal presence, by being compassionate, by offering love without judgment. And you need to take it slow. You need to be a bit more patient with this person or this aspect of yourself. And you need to be able to subdue this with feminine power. Now, what I'm hearing here is, is what I'm seeing rather. I'm seeing also that it's like, you know, a huge raging forest fire or a fire in the woodlands. And it's being put out by water, but like a placid lake. So a placid lake cools a raging fire. And this is the, the energy that I'm getting here. And what, what I'm hearing is that that part of you which is raging and that's out of control of that entity of that person in your life which is like that needs to be pacified by your cool calm and genuine and sincere exterior okay um i'm just trying to see if there's anything else here i'm also hearing that you need to hear exactly what is being said you need to read between the lines. You need to read the subtext. Uh, because there's more going on here than this person is able to share with you right now. And if this is another person, that is. And this is something that you actually... Um, yeah, it, it will come out with time, okay? I'm hearing that for some of you, this is definitely a part of yourself which is struggling. A part of yourself which is actually needing to grow into your feminine power. And I, I'm, I'm feeling these are for women, actually, here. But you've always presented yourself with a male hardness or an uh, exterior, like a, uh, a very hard surface. And in order to protect yourself, in order to thrive, in order to survive in the world that you live in. And right now, it's time for you to be able to let go of that and let that disintegrate. And actually allow your feminine energy to kind of overpower it and take over it and lead you and for you to trust in that. So this feminine power has not just to do with pacifying or calming or being compassionate or loving or nurturing, but it also has to do with leading and it has to do with trusting, trusting in order to be led and being able to feel from within you, from your gut, from your solar plexus, or from deeper within you, which is the path? What is it that you need? What is it that you desire? Where is it that you're being led? And take yourself forward here. If you're someone who's experiencing inflammation or having ulcers or um, struggling with issues like uh, diseases related to fire in the, in the body, a misbalanced fire, or um, basically some kind of, um, yeah, some kind of heat in the body, then take action towards resolving that or balancing that, okay? Because um, you need to, to, to be able to do that as well. And this is what I'm hearing. And let that casing of your body be recognized as the most sacred thing about you because that is all that you are on this earth 
Okay, and so that's a very specific message there. And I do hope it does resonate for those of you to those of you who've actually chosen this deck. So I thank you very much for coming by today. And I wish you well and your week ahead. And I am moving on now to the third deck. So these are the Sacred Rebels um, Oracle deck. For those of you who've chosen this deck here, the third option, what is it that you need to hear this week? Oops, I feel it's this one. Okay, and the card is Big Bold Vision. Right. So here I'm getting a whole new different energy, very different from the last cards. And this is not a timid energy. This is not an energy which is afraid of actually making bold steps. This is not an energy which is questioning uh, oneself. This is not an energy that is actually holding oneself back in any way or form. And this is not an energy that is imbalanced. Um, in any way or form. This is an energy that is completely in balance and completely um, rooted to the power of the earth as well as accessing other divine energy and power. So I want to say for those of you who've chosen like the first option and then the third option here as answers to different questions, I want to say that you need to actually um, move through that uh, well, what you the message that you've received in, in the card number one is the first part of this. And the second part, or what it will lead to, is, is this here. So what is this card saying to you? Well, it's basically saying that everything is fantastic and is actually going really well at this moment. Now, you might not really feel that at times, and you might not actually understand it. And you might if, even be going through quite hard difficulties or be going through real you might be actually in a quite grave space but what is within you what you have the potential to do what you are able to do right now is to be able to go forth and in order to do that you need to be able to see where it is that you're headed and seeing it visualizing it um, creating some kind of board like a vision board or a kind of um, yeah some kind of thing to show you to remind you of where it is that you're going is really important and the other thing that's really important here is understanding what it is that you truly want to create because right now your what you see and what you envision for yourself is actually all for the situation that you've come here to inquire about all for that particular relationship that you're inquiring about all of that is completely dependent upon the vision that you have at this moment so what is the vision that you have? And can you tailor that vision to be exactly what you want it to be? Can you close the gap between what you desire and what your vision is? Um, for those of you who are struggling with that. So the other thing I'm hearing here is that, yeah, well, I've mentioned it already. You have access to all this wisdom and all this power and it's all sitting within you. It's like you're the seat of power and you have you have this rootedness to the earth which are like your armies and then you have the divine guidance and power which are like the angelic forces and the the other forces like all kinds of other forces that i cannot describe because i see them and i don't know what they are um but it's all kind of other forces that interact with the earthly plane and you have all of this at your disposal and you actually can simply walk on and simply create and it's as if you know you can just sprinkle a little bit of magic along the way and create what it is that you need to do uh, or have in your life now for those of you who are not feeling that at all and actually feeling quite broken and, and quite or quite uh, tired exhausted um and it's been a long run and it just feels really exhausted like just tiring you're just exhausted you just completely not able to go on here because I'm also getting this kind of energy what I would advise you to do is just take some time to rest uh, because as you stand right now you aren't able 
to access this energy. Yeah. If you are feeling exhausted and if you're in a bad space or you're in a space that's not ideal, uh, you need to just take the time out before you so that you can arrive at a neutral space so that you can embody this energy. But this energy is really at your disposal and you can access it at the at any moment. But accessing it when you're feeling broken or 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 tired, simply exhausted, is not as easy as it is when you are in a neutral space. So that is the advice for you for this week. And um, I just want to say, you know, pause this video, take a look at this card and hear what it's saying to you. Because you will have, each one of you is going to have something really special that it says to you, that it's urging you to do, that this power, this energy is asking you to to actually create in your life or to to manifest or to make happen okay um and it is the number 15 if that's important to any of you so i want to wish you well and much success and much love and good health in the weeks ahead and i will definitely be with you next week for your um for your weekly oracle card reading i hope these help and it's always nice to read your messages. So thank you for those of you who do that. And thank you all for the, to all the new subscribers who've come in. And um, yeah, and to have actually uh, thank you all for your support. I appreciate it very much. So I wish you all very well and blessings abound. Funkiest Mud Rising.